Notion has revamped the way that we manage projects in Notion. So if you're a real estate agent, this video is for you. I'm going to be going through a few examples of how we can use the new features that Notion has integrated into this tool that allow us to better manage our transactions and any other projects that we may have as a real estate agent. So let's get into it. So here I've got the Ultimate Agent Hub, the template that I've created for real estate agents to manage their entire business in one tool. So we first have to think of what is a project as a real estate agent? And I would say that every single transaction is a project, right? Every single transaction that we are taking on as a real estate agent has a set of tasks associated with it and that need to be completed. So a transaction can be a project, but we can also have other projects that we may be working on. For example, maybe we are rebranding our team or our brokerage. Maybe we are working on bringing better organization systems into our business. Perhaps working on the launch of an advertising campaign. So there are several different projects that we may have as a real estate agent, but I'll be taking you on a transaction project and seeing how we can use these new features to our advantage to become more efficient and more productive with Notion. So let's go into one of our transactions here. So let's say I have a seller for who I am listing a property. So I'm going to go into my seller CRM and I'm going to open, okay, I feel like I always use Selena Gomez in my videos. So this time I'm going to go with Mariah Carey. So the first cool thing that Notion has added to Notion databases is the ability to use AI to create a summary or take out a few key points out of a, a database entry. So in this case, Mariah Carey is one of my database entries. And so I can have a property here, a Notion property that uses AI to create a summary of what's on this page or what's on this database entry. But what's cool is that you don't need to do this on every single page because it's a property of this database. Every single entry in the database is going to adopt the same exact structure. So let me create this one from scratch so that you can see. So in order to add a new property, I need to go down here, add a property. I'm going to do that. And we're going to notice at the top that there are three new AI properties that we can add to the database. So there's AI summary, which really is an out of the box AI solution, which just creates a summary of what's on this database page. We have AI key info. Now this one, we can actually tailor and kind of add what key points do we want to be extracting from this page? So if there are any key information that you want to have readily available, you can have Notion AI extract that information and place it within this entry. So let me just go back to the AI summary, which is a basic example of what AI can do. So if I do a fill with summary, auto update on page edits. So if the page itself is edited in any kind of way, this AI generated property will automatically update. So I'm going to try it on this page to see what happens. All right. AI updated AI summary on one page. I'm just going to give you a summary of what's on this page. But you could extract what are the next tasks to start for this client. Maybe you could even come up with creative ideas to advertise this property. So let me try that here. If I create a new property and I'm going to use the custom autofill because this is not, an, not a summary and not extracting key information from the page. So I'm just going to use an AI custom autofill. And here I can say brainstorm some creative ideas in advertising this property. Okay, so I see that a lot has come up here. I'm going to limit the length of this because that's a bit long. So limit to 150 characters. Now I can do update this on all pages so that every page in this database adopts the same new AI property that I just created. So update on all pages. Yep, update. There you go. And now let's see. If I open any one of these other ones, they should also have the same properties that we've just created. See, this one hasn't been updated because we haven't uh, clicked on update all, all pages, right? So if I do update all pages, this will update in every page in this database. Updating all pages. Now this can take a little while because it needs to go through 
every single database entry and update that for each of them. Okay. Don't miss your chance to own this gem. Contact us today. Cool. So obviously the more information you give AI, the better it can output something that can be useful to you and improve your productivity. So like if I had put, you know, a number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, what neighborhood am I in, et cetera, these things might actually show up in the Notion AI brainstorm here. So I'm just going to call this advertising brainstorm. Advertising brainstorm. There we go. So that's it. Okay. So that's pretty cool. The other cool thing that Notion has added to Notion project is the ability to create dependencies. So when we have a specific task that is dependent on us completing a previous task, we can now insert that into the timeline view. So if I have a timeline view of my tasks, so I have three tasks for Mariah Carey that I put into my master task database, but here I'm just seeing the tasks that are related to Mariah Carey and not all of the other tasks that I may have in my task database. So these are my three tasks. And then if I want to view them in the table view, I can do that here. And then I've also created a timeline view. So the way to create this timeline view is just to change the layout to timeline. Okay. So that's what I've done here. I have the timeline view of our tasks for Mariah Carey, and I've created dependencies. So I'm going to take them off here so you guys can see. But essentially, I have three tasks, right? So mail out, seller guide to lead, listing consultation, and sign listing paperwork. But each of these tasks is dependent on the previous task being completed. I'm not going to have the listing consultation until I mail out my seller guide to my lead. This is an example, obviously, when looking at taking on a seller lead. So let's say my first task is to mail out my seller guide to my lead. I can create a dependency by click on this little arrow here and dragging it over to the following task. Now I know that this task needs to happen in order for me to be able to do this task. And then the listing consultation needs to happen before we sign the listing paperwork. So I can also do the same thing here. All right. So this allows you to see a little bit better what your tasks look like. And then obviously you have dates on them. If you didn't have dates on these tasks, they would not appear in your timeline. You need to have dates on each of the tasks in order for them to appear here. And then if I go into one of these tasks, for example, let me open one up. You will see that these two new properties have appeared in the task, in the task page, which is blocked by and blocking. So blocked by tells you what needs to happen before this task can happen. And then blocking is what task will be able to happen once you've completed this task. So that's it. Notion is constantly putting out new updates and this tool is becoming more and more powerful. And I have been loving discovering all these new ways that we can use it. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to connect with me. I've linked this template down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jess and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.